duck on as well. Yeah. What the hell, Yeti? You crushed the camera. Yeti has the. Yeti yeah, has he had the, the <laughs> zoom in one that that, that, that yeah. one killed me. I was like, oh my god. But uh, wisdom, uh, I, I feel like wisdom is a pretty well known person, maybe in the Wi-Fi land, uh -huh. uh, because when they were doing those uh, those Nintendo qualifiers, uh, he made it pretty close. I I feel like he had like a last game situation versus like Seth or something. Okay. But uh, you know, he's been grinding things out with his uh, with his duck hunt when he does choose to go to certain majors, such as Smash Splash, does very well. Alright, All right. let's go ahead and get it, guys. I, I like what he did with his hat that I was talking to him. I was like, yeah, you put the in your hat, that's actually pretty cool, man. It's alright. No, I'm kidding, that is dope. Well, the seventh one's gonna go here, man. Uh, Yeti's yeah, been coming in, uh, you know, to these last few majors with a lot of momentum. I know a lot of people have been trying to write him off, saying that yeah. You know, some of your earlier great placings in Ultimate were just due to the fact that Mega Man is dumb. And I said, well, you know, Mega Man does have a level of, uh, of uh, you know, stupidity. Yeah, but you yeah. know what, though? I don't think you went to school, bro. Yeah, but you know what, though? Mega Man also just can't be played willy-nilly. It takes a certain type of brain, you know, big brain, to play Mega Man, okay? Because I've played this character, okay? I have to limit around. I don't like limit. I don't like not having a jab, first of all. <laughs> and yes. then he doesn't have Nair either because he has just the pellet. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not about that life. I like to land with Nair. Alright, so Yeti obviously doing what a lot of people cannot do with this character. Oh, nice. Ooh, tossed right into the can. And uh, Wisdom showing that he knows this Mega Man matchup. Okay, wait a minute. Face Setting back up. up. That's right, back off into the corner here. Okay, try to catch him with the crash bomb. Alex to tech to roll backwards. Very good. He wants to keep up that good spacing here with these limits. Okay, this is why. So that's mine now, sir. Hey, uh, yeah, he's probably just sitting there, but when is this can going to blow up? Oh, my gosh. I'm throwing everything at it. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait a minute. Him up. Oh, get, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I, okay. I was like, if it's not down smash after they get up, he's going to get punched. Yeah, he, he did board smash. No reason right there for Yeti to roll anyway. Just held down the great position that he had there up tilt for his troubles. Nothing wrong with keeping it simple. Okay. Board smash trying to catch him grabbing the ledge there. Right, one of the uh, uncharged for smash as well too, trying to get that uh, slightly longer duration there. 168%, but gauge the can. And even though Mega Man is a heavy guy, I think that can has enough strength to really make his life hard out there, man. Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay. Ooh. I forget sometimes that Mega Man can go like super duper low and then yeah. air dodge. As uh, Salem was saying, uh, characters that are able to act out of that recovery very strong here in this game. Ooh. Okay. He's backing up. Oh no, oh no. It has to, okay. Lands Very good. right into the jab. Yeah. Air dot is out of it. Oh, just missing the grab. Very rare right there. Typically we see that uh, you know, the uh the gear toss right it's like back air, forward air. But that time I actually went for the grab. Oh, but you can't be above Mega Man for too long, not just because of the up air, but because oh wait oh, a minute. Wow. Yeah, and I feel like he was able to get those uh those up airs to back airs, give us a matchup uh familiarity that's right he's sitting there was like all right he got the one he got the two i don't know how to get out of this disadvantage state right now no sir Oof, wow the new state. Yeah, see metal that. blade does not care about disc golf at all Mega man goes hard and oh slides in okay that's the dms he goes okay get that out of here man not allowing him to set up any type of oh my god any sort of shot but again anytime he sees him goes into that leaf shield animation forward smash or down smash comes out immediately so I do like that, man. He's starting to figure a couple things out here in this matchup. I know Mega Man can be overwhelming up close and personal, and of course, playing a long range game, but you have some very strong tools in your arsenal as well, too. You gotta figure out when and when not to use them. Ooh, okay. Can. Losing there. Gunman. Con. Yeti doing his thing. Knowing that he's up stock right now. He doesn't really have to approach. He just has to worry about getting rid of all these pesky projectiles and items that Duck Hunt is throwing onto the stage. All right. Oh, oh the falling up air from underneath. Again, goes back to what I talked about. Oh, wow, the triple parry. Damn. Hey, match is over. No, I'm just kidding. But no, like, like I said before, it goes it goes back to uh, what I talked about. Olimar uh, and Mega Man, two characters I feel like really do an awesome job yeah. at punishing just people who like to empty jump a lot. We see that most notably when Yeti played against Stillager earlier today. We see this Palutena doing a lot of just short hop stuff, and he just went back here every time. Hugging the stage. 
Right. Going under a little bit so he doesn't get hit by the down air. Down air a little bit harder to land here in this game from what the Mega Man's have been saying, but still a really good coverage option because even if it doesn't land the right way and it lands sour, still enough to keep Duck Hunt off stage. And then, of course, because he has not gotten his pause back onto the stage, he can't reset his upbeat. Right, get the forward smash. You got Yeti getting rid of everything right now. Wisdom probably already thinking about a game number two, man. He's like, you know what? He's in at 178. I got another stock I already get through, too. Dag. Okay. All right. That's how you do that fair, man. And uh, the matchup was pretty crazy because uh, to start that first stock, it was really looking like uh, Wisdom was in control until he forward smashed the incorrect direction, and then Yeti was uh, able to hit him with that DP. Yeah. And that's like Mega Man and Snake, two characters I think, you know, Yeti, you know, pretty – prominent with but probably more you know Mega Man than his snake. Uh, you know walking really really helps you know, those two characters. You know walking or sometimes it's not pressing the button. Approach carefully, read which way your opponent's gonna go because chances are when they, you see a Mega Man jump in on you, your main objective is to get his ass off yeah. you as quickly as possible. So once you read which way he's gonna attack, wait it out, go for up tilt, go for something crazy. Both of those two characters, Snake and Mega Man alike. Okay. All right, put on to game number two, going to Final Destination. We've actually seen a lot of Final Destination here in this top eight. Uh -huh. In that last set, we saw the last two games end up there. Oof. Right, grabbing the disc, getting rid of it. Okay, and he's tossing the can back and forth here. Very good. He knows that he lost one of his stocks, or almost lost one of his stocks due to the can in the last game. And actually, no, he did lose it. He did lose a stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when he was off the stage. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, even though Mega Man's a very, very heavy character, he can recover from some pretty fast distances away, but because of the trajectory that the can goes, it'll probably catch you before you even get anywhere close to the stage again. Ooh, oh, up smashing punished. there, gonna get punished. Okay, nice. the ledge. Very smart there, using whoa, the can whoa, to whoa. his own advantage. He said, I'm Mega Man, I know how to use items. Mega Man. Okay. Oh, again, uh, catching the jump. You cannot keep jumping versus Mega Man. Oh, oh, oh wow, it. just barely making it past that hard knuckle there. Very gonna send Duck Hunt off the stage once again, and that forward smash is gonna obliterate his stock. All right, Yeti. Seeing it 88% as we saw in that last game. Uh, but once he got that first stock, he just sat back, shot those projectiles, made sure the duck hunt was not able to get anything set up. Right. No, here it is. Oh, goes for the up air that time. Okay, interesting enough. No sense of going for the back air. I should thought he was actually going to go for like the back air train because you can get a couple in a row depending on if you can catch him out of a jump or not. But I guess in that case right there, I looked to go for the safer of the aerials. Goes for the up air. Okay, Lance with Leaf Shield, very smart. Oh, and then the can actually stopping the gear from being tossed at him. Back throw. Toss him off the stage. Goes out there with the fair, it's barely missing. No ledge trunk, no ledge trunk. Oh, both of these guys just trying to make it back onto the stage here. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Duck Hunt off stage has a horrible ooh, disadvantage. I need to take advantage of this, man. Can. Put Mega Man off oh, the no. stage. Oh, no. And this is what I was talking about before. That can can go so deep before Mega Man even gets the opportunity to, like, burn the air dodge to push himself back or even use up special. That's what makes Duck Hunt kind of dangerous here for Mega Man off stage. Just in that one instance there. Gets the up throw. Still not enough. 186%. I feel like that's one thing that Duck Hunt, like, he, he takes forever to kill, man. Like, yeah. Uh, as uh, unpleasant as a character he is to fight to most people, I feel like... He, he should kill a little bit. Or like his can should probably kill about like 150 or something of that sort. That's but, fair. I mean, you'll have some matches where the dude's living to almost 200. Yeah. And the crazy thing is like Mega Man, you know, doesn't quite need conversions for KO sometimes. You know, he sometimes just needs a really good read. But Duck Hunt needs like reads and conversions. And unfortunately, if, you, if they aren't, you know, crisp, you know, any, at any point in time in this match, uh, you know, your opponent will live to some just insanely high percents. Right, speaking of insanely high percents, we have Wisdom sitting at 181 damage right now. Yeah. Uh, but the nature of this matchup, you definitely see why that is like that, because both of these guys are just suiting back, chucking their projectiles at each other, and neither one of their projectiles are really uh, a strong kill option. Yeah. As you see right here, even though the percents do tell a story, with the way Duck Hunt is designed, certainly tells a different one. So slowly but surely, he'll start to just chisel away at you. There, uh, yeah, and, yeah, right, you weren't, stage. yeah, you weren't going to be able to get out of that one, sadly. Okay, wait a second. And now he's landing with the Leaf Shield this time. Very smart option. He knows that he has to leave. Leaf Shield stops Duck Hunt from being able to get in and grab you. Oh, no. Oh, wow, just barely missing with the up smash. 
Yeti counting his blessings. Putting the crash bomber there on Ozone. Ooh, okay. Play shot once more. Goes for two. Very interesting place to can right there. I mean, it kind of forced him into an awkward position because he could have got hit with another play shot or he could have directly air dodged out of the way. But had Wisdom been on the up and up about it, he probably would have been able to uh, grab the needle, just kind of reset the combo again once more. And, uh, oh, wow. Did he throw that into the can and he's knocking back up? No, I think he actually just. Uh, Wisdom was actually have the good can read, if I'm not oh, mistaken, okay. there. But regardless, man, again, it's another can that has taken Yeti stock. Uh, four throw. Oh, no. Oh, wow. The dog. Dare. The dog is sent to heaven. Okay. All dogs are to heaven, but is the duck going with them? No free rides. So, yeah, you can come in, but your homie. Uh, yeah, he's just going to stand at the front door. Yeah, man. Wait, I'm sorry, man. Okay. Well, bit a bit better shown right there from Wisdom. Wisdom definitely showing his wisdom there in that matchup. But Yeti again, just being this formidable force, man. Just being knowing when to come in, you know, and uh, win some of these neutral exchanges, like he, uh, especially courtesy of the Leaf Shield. Leaf Shield has really allowed him a lot of great access points in this matchup. But um, I think what's really uh, you know just troublesome for Wisdom is the fact that Yeti kind of matches him, if not slightly outpasses him in the projectile game. Early on, got the projectiles coming out. Missing with the up smash. Able to get the spot dodge, though. No punish there from Yeti. Oh, no back throw. Okay, smart. He's backing off here this time. Cross him back here again. Reading which way he's going to try to land before he can even think about pressing a directional air dodge and hits him with the uh, backer every time. I feel uh, early on here in this game, Wisdom going to try to play a little more up close and personal. We've already seen a, a few approaches with fairs. We've seen some, some jabs, some grab attempts. Figure, you know what? I'm losing this projectile war. I gotta switch something up. Yes, sir. Okay, nice short hop Ferris. He had to go for the aerial right there. He could not elect to eat, eat any shield damage from his own uh from his own can or just be that close off the ledge of the stage. Because that would actually elect him to actually use a jump. And then the minute he jumps, you know what's gonna happen there. So get back onto the center stage. Right now it has position here on his behalf. But what's he doing with it though? Oh, oh no, he's gonna own. knock himself off the stage. No can there's the back here. Oh, come here. All right, going high, very smart there. Was able to make it back onto the stage. It would have been very sad to see himself die there uh, because he put himself in the disadvantage there. He was definitely dead. Oh, no. Ooh. No way there's the crash bomb. Okay, a little off the mark with the crash bomb, uh, you know, but I do feel like though the crash bomb certainly have its place when it comes to dealing with Dustin off stage because if he lands the crash bomb on him, then he's going to have to go back to the ledge of stage no matter what. The chances are he's going to have to try to hug the stage too when he's coming back to try to outlast the explosion, and that's when he's going to try to drop down fair, drop down back here. Oh gosh, all right, got the explosions there, the crash bomb. What the heck? <laughs> what the hell? He said we're not landing, man. Oof. Both of these guys getting up there in the percents. Duck hunt, sitting at max rage. Getting the most miles out of these stocks as well, mind you, too. I tell you know there's quite a bit on the line. Winner's semis, obviously the next one's going to move over into one. Winner's finals. Salem's sitting pretty comfortable up there. Uh-oh, there's an air, though. What's he going to do with it? Ooh, tried to bring the can back at him. Just barely missing. This match just trailed on him pretty extensively here. No stocks have been taken right. I say that, though, Wisdom takes the first one, man, at a billion percent on Yeti's behalf. Man, there's four and a half minutes left, and they've only taken one stock. Ooh, falling out of the back here. But the back throw is going to get rid of Wisdom's first stock. These guys sitting on stock number two. Uh, as we saw there, I mean, we, we could be sitting in another two, two and a half minute stock here. Good, yeah. I mean, but for good reasons, though. You know, it's not like both of these two guys are, are playing a slow game or quote unquote camping to try to be a scumbag. I mean, I think camping when two zoners meet each other, yeah. it's definitely going to go a long way. Because if you're the one that decides, man, you know what, I'm tired of throwing all these projectiles and you're one that approaches. Oh, wow! Watch yourself off stage. Okay, eat the knuckle sandwich right there. Yeah. Okay, get the gunman out of here. Dang, he's getting his ass kicked. Get that gunman out of here. And it's and it's so hard for, uh, as we were talking about, you know, these zoners. If you're down in a zoner matchup this much, it is extremely hard to come back. Yes, sir. Uh, especially because of how slow and methodical these two have been playing. You know, it takes a lot of time to build up the damage, and then even when you get that damage built up, it's still taking a long time for you to get the kill at those percents. Uh -huh. One more. 
Oh, oh okay. Okay. Oh, he said, wow. He, spiked me, I'll spike he said, you, you know what? <laughs> My homie Ozone, show me something. Yeah, he said, you spike me, I spike you, sir. Let's get it. Oof. Okay. Nice. There's a gunman. Doesn't get anything off of it, though. And then try to catch the high recovery. He knows how awkward it can be for Dustin to land at times. He's going to elect to keep pressuring at the right and left side of the stage there with back and forward. Okay. Right. With the grab. He's rolling backwards now. Put his back against the wall, sitting on his winner side stock right now. Ooh, okay, up to up air. Sometimes okay. you forget Doug not have that move, man. That's right. Yeah, he was out of a jump right there too. That could have been pretty troublesome for him. Yeah. Oh no, RIP to the gunman's pants, bro. Back throw. Gets rid of the cam there. Up air. The juggles are coming, but the leaf shield coming down, blowing up the can. Oh, oh the forward smash, wow. taking the stock. That can was so menacing for wisdom of all people in that game. He was sent off stage multiple times because it blew up on him. And right there, that leaf shield blew up the can, put him in the air, and then he got his landing eight. 